Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have built this about.html page and now in this lecture we are gonna make this contact.html page, it have this subheader, this iframe, it have the width equal to the container and then here is a separate section for the contact form, it can, it, it occupies 66% width, it, this section occupies 33% so and now here we have to create a new page and drag it to here and here is save it and now here is contact.html and now here I'm gonna paste the same code copy from this header and we also need this clear fix and subheader and then we need this container and row so copy up to here and paste it here and now we need the closing tags and the footer and from the end there are the closing tags of the body main and here is the footer and this is the closing tag of the section div we need four closing tags here is this so now all the things are fine this section here is this section and this is the div clear fix and this is the subheader container div and here is the heading and in this container we will place this map and the contact form and this contact info and this is the subheader and now I'm gonna make the subheader first of all copy this text paragraph and then paste it here under this here paste it without any paragraph and then here is contact and now let's execute it here it is contact so now after this we have to make this contact area first of all we will build this map div inside the container directly here is the container and here we have to paste the map and here I'm gonna copy the code of the map from the first page and here it is along with its div here is and here is and here we have to give it more height for 50 pixel and now let's execute it and now it's loading and here is the map is inserted and here you can see that it's working and now after this we have to create a div who have the 66% width and in which we will put this input fields and here is after the closing tag of this div inside the container we have to make another div for the form give it the class adjust for because it have the 66% width and here is the closing tag of the div and here is the wrap call div class wrap call and here is this and first of all here I'm gonna place the h5 form and here is contact form and here I'm gonna give it the orange color by giving it the class color orange color orange and now let's execute it heading is created here it is and now we are gonna make this part and for this here we have to place the form here is the form and now here is its closing tag of the form and now here I'm gonna give a id ff means form form and here is place the label opening and the closing tag and then in between this we have to place input here is the type here is the text and then here is I'm gonna place the placeholder enter name 
here is make it capital and here is another field for the email here is enter email and then after this we have to make another third one that is for the text area here is here we have to change its it in this field we will put the simple message here is the text area placeholder have message and here is the closing tag of the text area here it is and here I'm gonna give the rows rows are equal to 4 and here is goals 25 columns and now after this first of all let's check it out we have to create this button and now it have not style so that's why it look like this and now create a button and that button is in the center here you can see that so we have to give it the center tag so then it will automatically in the center and here we have to place here is input input type here is submit and here is the value of the button is the text that is appear in the button is submit and here I'm going to give it the class btn to give it the styles btn and now here it is the button and let's go and give it the style then it will be okay by using this ff form and here it is first of all give the style to the label here is the label and then here is the first of all display as the label as a block and then here is the font weight is bold so all the text we will put is become bold in the fields and here is the margin is margin bottom is 5 pixels so a distance is created between every field here you see that margin bottom on the bottom side of every field and then now I'm gonna give the same styles that are the same in the input fields and the text area here is hash FFF here is input text area here it is and here we have to give the display block and here is the width is become 100% and here is the border radius of the fields 4 pixel and here is the color is become black the text color and here I'm going to show you what is the border radius here you see that the corners are rounded so this is the border radius and the next thing is give it border around the fields one pixel solid here is the hash EF 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 and then here is the font size 16 pixel and then here is the background color white here it is and now we will give the padding to the input field so a distance is created inside the input field between the text and the border here you can see that here is first of all input field input and here it is padding and here is 12 pixel and here is the margin 5 pixel top 0 pixel left 10 pixel bottom 0 pixel right 
and here is the maximum height for 45 pixel the height of the input field here it is and now here is the hash fff text area here is the height 200 pixel the text area height and the padding is 10 pixel and then here is the margin to create a distance from the other fields 5 pixel top 0 and 25 pixel bottom and here is a 0 and now let's check it so here it is created and now I'm gonna give the style width to this btn and here is hash ff dot btn maximum width is 25% its maximum width is total width is 66% that is the width of the adjust one so that's why it's occupying all the 66% so now it will occupy the 25% and it is in the center and when we take the mouse over it so its color is become little transparent so it is the opacity here is copy this and paste it here hover and here it is and here is the opacity it becomes 0 0.7 and here is so now here it is here is our page so now here is the opacity and the next thing that I want to tell you is the we have to create this part it have the width 33 percent so after the closing tag of the adjust one here is adjust four here is we have to create another part here is div I'm gonna copy the code from this and then edit it here is this paste it and then it's closing tags here is and here is h5 and here is contact info and here is the adjust one and then here I'm gonna place a text inside the span the first text is inside the span the first line here is here is span and then the second is the paragraph copied like this and here is this this and here is align this text right here and also this this one here it is and now this paragraph this is a paragraph and then here is the closing tag of the paragraph and here is this is a paragraph but here is a br to add a new line so the second line is display on the new line and here is the paragraph and here is the br here is the paragraph and here is the paragraph and here is the paragraph and now it's okay and let's check it so now this page is ready it is created and one thing is left that is here we have missed the closing tag of the center here is this is the closing tag of the center and now it's going to be work perfectly it is already working perfectly and now in the next video I'm gonna develop the fifth website that is related to the music videos and the music concerts so thank you for watching this video I will see you in the next video